So it's February 17th, and I noticed this uh, day before yesterday, but the birds are molting. So they got a lot of feathers and fluff, and I assume that this is going to be going on for quite a while, um, at least a couple weeks. So they're going to be kind of dirty. But, um, they'll get through it, and, uh, so that's kind of fun. So, molting of feathers is actually a hormonal process, and kind of like our nails and our hair, uh, they're made up of a protein called keratin, and they're pretty much dead cells, so once they're dead, they can't regenerate themselves or mend themselves, and so they have to slough away, and it's, uh, encouraging a new set of feathers to grow out um, again the the protein is keratin just like our uh, fingernails and hair and uh, with quail for instance the caternix actually molt twice a year because they are uh, laying so much and they have a very high protect productivity rate um, with their laying and so they're gonna molt twice a year. My quail tend to molt in the fall and in the spring. And uh, since they're made up of 85% protein, the, when the birds are, are molting, they're using a lot of energy to grow out their new feathers and stuff. Um, so it's good to possibly supplement a little bit more protein because, uh, you know, their feathers are made up of the protein, so they're going to need a little bit more supplementation of uh, that supplement uh, to grow out healthy, beautiful new feathers. And sometimes your quail will actually stop laying or uh, hold off on laying, not lay so much. Um, and that's perfectly uh, normal, and don't be alarmed by that. Um, Sometimes you'll also see bare skin patches. Don't worry about that either. They're going to grow in just fine and look so much more beautiful and healthier and uh, more luxurious and shinier. Um, but at this time, if you do see uh, bald patches and stuff, it's a good time to just inspect their skin and see if there's any parasites or lice or whatever. It's very uncommon, but it just gives you a chance to uh, kind of use your skills and... Uh, just treat your birds as, as best as possible and, and see their health conditions.